for startup. Thank you very much for your interest in our work on diffusion of carbon nanotubes in spheroidal assemblies of hepatic cells. It is amazingly fast because of unusual balance of nanoscale interactions. It includes gliding of carbon nanotubes over the surface of the hepatic cells. It, can, it is also interesting because it can be used for treatment of deep cancer. My name is Lee Wong and I'm a PhD student in biomedical engineering at the University of Michigan. I've been working at the In this work, we investigated the transport property of carbon nanotubes in dense tissue. Nanotubes are tubular cylinders which are 50,000 times smaller than a single human hair. And uh, they can be dispersed in water or other physiological buffer with unique optical and other properties for drug delivery and the biomedical imaging. Development of this nanomedicine uh, was hindered by the standard and the the standardization and the prediction in the human body because currently the research will be focused on 2D cell culture uh, which couldn't really replicate or mimic the human environment and animal study always couldn't achieve the statistical significance because uh, it, the variety of the animals mass to mice or between mass and human so here we apply the 3D cell culture. We utilized 3D culture in inverted colloidal crystal hydrogel scaffold. As you can see, it looks transparent and easy to observe the activities inside the scaffold in real time. And also they can be fit in the 96 valve plate to facilitate the statistical analysis and the uniform uh, poro structure facilitate the formation of a nearly perfect monodispersed spheroids with tissue-like fissures. The nanomaterial with the color, so we can observe how they really uh, transport inside this 3D culture. Cellular spheres were stained with red, and carbon nanotubes with titanium ligand show screen fluorescence, and the confocal microscope observed in real time. It's easy to standardize and observe them in visual, like outside of human body in the lab. This paper we highlight how they work in the dense tissue or organ in human, and we found out. Uh, it's not as we imagine that, it just penetrates between the cell membranes, but uh, actually gliding on the surface of the cell. So that have a higher diffusion coefficient, which means it would be faster than we imagine to uh, achieve or reach the focus of the disease. I think it's also open an opportunity for the carbon nanotube or nanomaterials for the cancer treatment.